Another Chinese EB delight. It's a 3 watt GU10 lamp, universal voltage for roost around the world, and it's got three 1 watt LEDs in it. Um, let's open it up, shall we? So, uh, three very small screws and a metal frame in the front. And they hold. Oh, it really comes to bits. Oh, blimey. So, that was the metal cover. Um, holds these three plastic reflectors. The work as reflectors by uh, refractive index. There's there's no mirroring on them. They just um, because of the difference in refractive index to air, they create a sort of mirror effect. And inside is a circuit board. One of those aluminium core circuit boards, I guess. Yes, it is. It's an aluminium core circuit board with three one watt LEDs in series, and they're physically jammed down onto the back plate, onto this heat sink with um, the reflectors. So there are holes drilled in that uh, to align with three screws that hold the aluminium reflector bit onto the plastic back. So let's whip them out. And inside is a very minimalist, horrible plastic insulation. Yeah. Let's uh, chop that off, shall we? And a very, very small switching power supply. Current regulated. Well, not current regulated, I think current, current balanced. The mains goes in, it goes into these four diodes here, forming a bridge direct far. There's a capacitor rated 4.7 MF 400 volts to smooth uh, the main supply. There's a switching chip which then drives the transformer. These transformers are usually isolated. Um, there are a few surface mount components, uh, including some underneath the transformer. The output of the transformer, though, is through that diode and a little capacitor on the other side for filtering reasons. Um, and that's fundamentally it. I don't see any feedback circuitry and the output in these tends to be isolated from the input in the transformer. So I'm guessing it's using similar type circuitry to those cheap USB power supplies that just kind of balance the voltage. Um, and it may be that um, I think it may be even simpler. I think this may just be operating at a fixed frequency and this the inductance of this uh, transformer, I think it's just balanced so that it provides roughly um, 350 milliamps. That's around about 9 volts, I'm guessing. It's, very, it's going to be as simple as possible because these are very cheap, but yeah, there's a lot to it. It's just quite neat though. I quite like that.